Well, as we pick back up our endangered Indiana series this week, it's one of Evansville's tallest buildings with a tie to the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. Around Indiana reporter Mary Rachel Redman inside the IMS Museum with more. Mary Rachel. Well, Gary, say the name Holman in Indiana, racing in the Indianapolis Motor Speedway more than likely come to mind. But there's also an iconic building in downtown Evansville named after the family, and it's facing, well, an uncertain future. The Holman Building is one of the most visible historic structures that we have in the city. A rare architectural gem that's graced the city's downtown skyline for nearly a century. There's only a handful of Art Deco that still stands in Evansville, and I think it's a beautiful representation of the Art Deco movement in architecture in the 1920s. Built in 1929, the 10 story Art Deco style commercial building began as a bank, but unfortunately, the Great Depression had other plans. It was a central union bank, uh, it housed a financial institution and other offices. The Central Union Bank went bankrupt in 1932 during the banking crisis. Enter Tony Holman, then a young man tasked with growing his family's business, Clabber Girl Baking Powder. He had been uh, tasked to make Clabber Girl Baking Powder a national brand by his father, and that meant going south, going south into the Mid-South, uh, especially putting up signs about Clabber Girl. So Evansville became one of the hubs outside of Terre Haute, and that's why uh, the Holman Building came, came into existence. Oh, and by the way, Evansville just happened to be the hometown of his wife, Mary Fendrick. Her family, like his, had a business empire of their own, Fendrick Cigars, at one time the biggest cigar producer in the country. So when these two got together, well, let's just say it was a match made in Hoosier heaven. They called it the wedding of the century, and the uh, pictures of them coming out of the, out of the uh, church uh, made newspapers all over the country that the, the Holman and the Fendrick families were united. But the building that proudly dons the Holman name on the outside is starting to fall apart on the inside after sitting empty for a number of years. But Coors remains optimistic about the building's future. I think the fact that the building is still in relatively good shape um, and it has retained its, its classic look both inside and out I think make it ideal for a development. It's not easy to renovate and, and uh, reinvigorate a building that is uh, going almost 100 years old, but this one is really special because there are so few like it. While the current status of the Holman building is still in limbo, there is some interest in potentially turning it into a boutique hotel. Those discussions still ongoing, but there's still hope.